I'm in bed with movies and today you're going to be watching me watch Die Hard for the first time because apparently this movie is the greatest Christmas movie of all time. Here I was thinking it was it It's a Wonderful Life but no apparently it's Die Hard. Also please note I'm in my Christmas gear. Let me show you. Do you like it? Do you like it? I thought it was cool. Oh my gosh, remember 20th Century Fox? Oh! That was always exciting when I was a kid. Sign of good things to come. Ooh, yeah. I don't like flying either, buddy. You want to know the secret to surviving air travel? Alcohol. You get where you're going, take off your shoes and your socks, then you walk around on the rug barefoot and make fists with your toes. I'm so glad that you can no longer smoke indoors in public areas. Is Daddy coming home with you? Well, we'll see what Santa and Mommy can do, okay? So if they're together, why is he living in New York? Um, it might be a good idea to make up the spare bedroom just in case. See, Mrs. Oh, okay. Holly, I do that already. We're not together. <laughs> hey, I'm John McClain. Our guy. I'm your limo driver. CD, CB, TV, telephone. Full bar VHS. VHS. <laughs> you score, you give me a call on the car phone. I'll take your bags to the desk. If you strike out, I'll get you a whole tip. You're all right, Argyle. Just remember that when you sign for the tip. <laughs> I'm here to see Holly McLean. Just type it in there. She's in a maiden name. 30th floor. The party. They're the only ones left in the building. Take the express elevator. Why didn't he just say that in the beginning? <laughs> the echo is making it really creepy. Alice. I want you to meet John McClain. Holly's husband. Holly's policeman. <laughs> Heard a heck of a lot about you. <laughs> Miss Summer. I was hoping you made that flight. Show him the watch. Well, go on, show him. What are you, embarrassed? It's a small token of appreciation. It's a Rolex. It's a Rolex. Loving the score of this movie. What is that? Oh, I thought he was one of the bad guys. Oh, there's a whole team of them. Oh <gasps> no! Oh my god, what is he doing in this? Cross my heart, I did not know that he was in this. Oh. I have had my time of thinking that he's a bad guy and now he actually is a bad guy. No. Oh. I first saw him in Sense and Sensibility where he played Colonel Brandon and I fell in love with him. And then I saw him in Harry Potter. Oh, he's doing it! <laughs> Go on, make your fists. So they German? Argon? 
back, yeah? Oh no, now they can't contact him. And he's gonna be at the bottom of the building. Oh my gosh, so he has to fight these terrorists with one little handgun. Handgun? Pistol? Are they the same thing? I don't know. Oh gosh, they're in the party. Oh no, Snape, don't do it. Oh gosh, did he see him? Oh gosh. Poor woman. Thought she was gonna have a good night. Oh gosh, and he's barefoot. Oh my gosh. They're wasting a lot of bullets just shooting the roof. Stay calm. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, he's freaking out. Everything's gonna be fine. Why did he go up there? MBA, Harvard, 1970. President Nakatomi Trading, Vice Chairman Nakatomi Investment Group. He's done his research. Don't hum a Christmas song when you're about to kill somebody. That's beautiful. What is that? I always enjoyed to make models when I was a boy. A bridge. A bridge with a park? I need the code key because I am interested in the $640 million in negotiable bearer bonds locked in your vault. Oh, so that's why is it? What kind of terrorist are you? <laughs> Who said we were terrorists? The blurb of the movie. You know what I don't understand? Oh, look at him crawling. I don't understand how... Like, how do they think they're going to get away with that? Why are they going to take the money and, like, fly somewhere or disappear? You'll never get it open. Then there's no reason not to tell it to us. Let me guess. The person who knows what the code key is, is Bruce Willis's wife. It's a very nice suit, Mr. Takagi. To be ashamed to ruin it. <laughs> I'm going to count to three. Oh, look at his baby face. Get on the jet to Tokyo and ask the chairman. I'm telling you, you're just going to have to kill me. Okay. Oh my god, he actually did it. Oh, they heard him. They heard him. Oh no. Oh, they heard him. Now it's on. Oh dear. Oh man, he was a dad of five. I killed him right at Christmas. Break the code. He didn't bring me along for my charming personality. <laughs> oh. Girl, tell me you heard the shots. You're calling the police right now. Of course, I'm still coming by later. <laughs> Hang on, so they cut the phone lines, right? Back then, wasn't the internet connected to the phone line? So if he's just cut the phone lines, how is he using the internet on the computer to transfer the money? Does that make sense? Am I missing something? He's so handsome. Why the fuck didn't you stop him, John? Cause then you'd be dead too, asshole. Thank God damn it, thank you. <laughs> He's oh, that was so good. That's so good. I'd be doing that too. Oh! He wouldn't have many bullets either, so he couldn't afford to waste them. How is he going to... Save the day. 
I promise I won't hurt you. That noise. Drop it, dickhead. It's the police. Don't waste the bullets, he needs them. John needs them. <laughs> I love the echoing in this movie. Usually it would annoy me, but it just adds to the atmosphere. Obviously that's going to come in handy later. <laughs> oh, he's got shoes. I gotta kill one with feet smaller than my sister. <laughs> I don't understand what he just did. Alas, your Mr. Takagi did not see it that way, so he won't be joining us for the rest of his life. <laughs> so he won't be joining us for the rest of his life. I've left nothing to chance. What did he write with? Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> ho, 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 mofo. Oh, he's riding on top of the... Oh, no. No, I don't like that. Think. Something's wrong. Cops. John. Something's wrong. John. This job's 3,000 miles away. Without him, we still have a chance we might be able to get out of here. Tell that to Takagi. She's, um, suddenly interested in her husband again. Mm -hmm. Or ex husband. Building. This channel is reserved for emergency calls only. No fucking shit, lady! Do I sound like I'm ordering a pizza? <laughs> the dialogue of this is killing me. No one kills him but me. They have already killed one hostage. They are fortifying their positions while you're jerking me off on a radio. Say that you're a cop. Come the fuck down here and arrest me. Just send the police now. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh. See if there's a black and white that can do a drive by. Thought you guys just ate donuts. <laughs> They're for my wife. Yeah. <laughs> She's pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> Investigate a code two at Nakatomi Plaza, Century City. Eight Lincoln 30 to dispatch. Oh, that's why they call them black and white. So he can see the shots from where he is. He can see the flashing. Wow. <laughs> oh, gosh. Don't tell me he's going to go through that fan. I'll kill him. Oh, that's a long drop. Oh gosh, you will not make that fall. Oh. Uh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is a big drop. Ah! Oh god, oh god. Oh my gosh. His feet are pretty clean for... Somebody who's been 
running around a construction site. And air vents. Oh, there we go. There's the lighter. Come out to the coast. We'll get together. Have a few laughs. <laughs> Come to the coast. We'll have a few laughs. We'll get together. Oh, now his feet are dirty. Oh god, the whole thing's dirty. He's a dirty, dirty boy. Oh, there's the Tisaki. His blood. Oh, I'm on my my cop. Is that the guy that plays? I can't remember the name of the show. Got a bad feeling about this. Next time you have a chance to kill someone, don't hesitate. Oh. Thanks for the advice. He took your. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. <laughs> yeah, that's a wild goose chase over here at Nakatomi Plaza. Everything here is okay. But you saw the shots up the top. I don't get it. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Oh. Oh my gosh. Welcome to the party. Well, that was clever. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? Yippee ki yay, motherfucker! Yippee ki yay, motherfucker! This is a very quotable no. movie. Hey! And his bag is missing. He had to detonate it. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker! They got missiles, automatic weapons, and enough plastic explosives to orbit Arnold Schwarzenegger. I am, sir. Sergeant Powell, Al Powell. Al Powell. But well, what about the body that fell out the window? Well, who knows? It's probably some stockbroker got depressed. Oh, dear. Whoa, some bright lights. Do you see a real bright light? Oh gosh, now he can't get out. Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. How many times have they said Jesus' name in this? Maybe it is a Christmas movie after all. What is that? That looks so cool. Looks like a giant toy car. A car that's been half, like a tank that's been half crushed. Oh! Oh my gosh! Far out! Fire. Oh man. Geronimo, motherfucker! Geronimo, motherfucker! Oh. Um, yeah, move back. Could not have destroyed the whole building. Like, how's the building still standing after a big?
kaboom. I'm not the one who just got butt fucked on national TV, Dwayne. <laughs> you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Quit being part of the fucking problem and put the other guy back on. Is that where that quote comes from or was it already around? So you hang in there, man. You hear me? You hang in there. Yeah, yeah thanks, partner. Are they going to be partners in the next movie? I know he survives because I just saw that there's five of these movies. What does he want? <laughs> it's not what I want, it's what I can give you. Oh no. It's obvious you're not some dumb schmuck up here to snatch a few purses, am I right? You're very perceptive. <laughs> Hans, Bobby, I'm your white knight. The guy upstairs is fucking things up, huh? I can give him to you. No. That means he's going to give the wife. No. Mr. Officer John McLean of the New York Police Department. I told him we were old friends and you were my guest at the party. Oh, he didn't throw her under the bus. Hans, this asshole is not my friend. I just met him tonight. I don't know him. Jesus Christ, Ellis, these people are going to kill you. Tell them you don't know me. Oh my god. The FBI is here now? Yes, sir, right over there. I'm Agent Johnson. This is Special Agent Johnson. Oh, how you doing? No relation. Johnson and Johnson. I'm Dwayne Robinson, LAPD. I'm in charge here. Not anymore. The FBI are always made to look like up themselves in movies. Is that true? Are they do the local police and the FBI, are they, like, at kind of odds with each other? I really like how this movie keeps leaving hints along the way. So they just showed us that, um, he left the gun there. Hi there. Oh! How you doing? They meet. He's gonna get the gun. You smoke? Yeah. Wow. All I gotta do is pull the trigger. Why would he give him a loaded gun knowing? Compt. Zofo. Oh, it wasn't loaded. Just pretended it was loaded. And give me my detonators. Oh. It's pretty tricky with that accent. You gotta be on fucking TV with that accent. <laughs> or in movies. But what do you want with the detonators, Hans? Um. I already used all the explosives. I bet the makeup ladies had fun working on. I can do with Takagi. Oops. Oh, oh, stupid Hans. I bet they had fun working on dirtying up Bruce. You know, I just realized this is the first time that I've seen Bruce Willis with hair. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot of blood. Shoot the glass. Seriously, does anybody know how many times Jesus has been mentioned in this movie? We must be at at, at least 40. Oh, he's bleeding a lot. Oh. Well, that's a lot of blood. Something had to get you off the street. I had an accident. The way you drive, I can see why. Run over your cabin, flip with the car. I shot a kid. Sorry, man. <laughs> hey, man. How could you know? I feel like shit anyway. I love their little friendship that they've got going. 
Oh, he's gonna still there. It's gonna go. Johnson. No, the other one. <laughs> what is that? What was that? Do you know? I don't know. I want you to find my wife. I want you to tell her that. That she is the best thing that ever happened to a bum like me. She never heard me say I'm sorry. John said that he was sorry. You can tell her that yourself. You just watch your ass and you'll make it out of there. You hear me? Well, I guess that's up to the man upstairs. What the fuck were you doing upstairs, Hans? Oh, that man upstairs. <laughs> you let me in right now or I call the INS. Comprende? This is the last time these kids are going to have to speak to their parents. What a bastard. Make a boo. Oh, it's been set. Pal, listen to me, it's a double for us. The whole roof of the building fired. Oh, no. Man, he's still standing after all those blows. Oh! Oh, oh my God. No! This is McLean. I nice to make your acquaintance. No! Figure we take out the terrorists, lose 20, 25% of the hostages. I can live with that! Oh my gosh. Why can you just say that like it's nothing? Like those people are nothing. Dude, what are those papers? Oh, he's got... oh no, you're dead. Oh, 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 I shot him. Oh, I actually shot him. Oh, jeez. Oh, hang on, isn't that? That's near where the handgun was. Or have we already dealt with that and I've missed it? Oh gosh. Oh. Oh. The slag fucking Saigon. Facelick. I was in junior high, dickhead. <laughs> oh. The whole fucking roof is wearing the blow. Get down. Get the fuck down, stick. Terrorist shooting yeah, left. Oh, they think that he's the terrorist. Oh, oh John, what the fuck are you doing? How the fuck did you get into this shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Blow the roof. The car's up there. Blow the roof. Oh. oh God, please don't let me die. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, she's gonna... oh. Oh. How are you gonna get in? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, it's still attached to you. Oh, untie. Untie. Oh gosh, you're gonna get dragged. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh, yep. That 
really oh shit holy christ I'm gonna need some more fbi guys i guess <laughs> oh my gosh what the christmas tree Is that their getaway car? Van. Two bullets left. Wow. Yes! 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 Good job. Did he just say she bangs, she bangs? His name ain't Jesus. When you steal 600 million, they will find you unless they think you're already dead. Oh, I thought they were gonna blow up the building. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Trails, Hans. Oh! oh my gosh. Oh, he's still holding on to her. Oh my gosh. No, don't take her with you. Oh, he's still got on the gun. Snape. You guys need to get out of that building. What's that for? Oh, are they the notes that they tried to steal? Letters? Notes? I don't know. New bestie. Oh, he fired a gun. He's been healed. Oh, yes. Oh, that was perfect. Yay. We're after this incredible ordeal. What are your feelings? Oh, Did you get that? <laughs> this is their idea of Christmas. I gotta be here for New Year's. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It doesn't snow here at Christmas. We go swimming at the beach for Christmas. That was actually more enjoyable than I expected, I'll be honest. It was so funny. There were so many really great quotable lines that I just wasn't expecting. So yeah, it was better than I expected which is surprising because usually when I go into a movie that I've heard was good I am severely disappointed if you're still here thanks for watching leave me a thumbs up if you want to yippee ki motherfucker